Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the HobbyZone uh, Sport Cub S2. On this one, I'm just gonna give you a couple uh, tips and tricks on the aircraft, uh, some things to do before you uh, go fly with it. Uh, some of these have been covered already in some other previous videos, but I just wanna do a short one here, just on a couple things to uh, get you ready to go fly. Uh, one of the first ones is, uh, once you get it out of the box, you're gonna wanna power it up and check out the, uh, the control services and make sure you have all of them are aligned with, uh, so if you look at the aileron here, it should be aligned with the wing. The uh, elevator should be aligned with the uh, horizontal stabulator. And looking at it from the top, the rudder should be aligned with the vertical stabulator. If you need to do any type of trimming, you can do that just by squeezing or expanding out these little U-shaped uh, wire bends here. I've already had to do that on the rudder. I gave it a little bit of a tweak and now it is centered. So once you have that done, and that's something you should do after you power up the aircraft, because you want to make sure all the, the servos and everything move uh, properly. And you want to do that also when you are not in safe mode, because safe in beginner mode actually dials a little bit of, um, of elevator in. So just a couple things to check out there. You also want to make sure that your batteries are charged before you head out to the field and go fly. You don't want to get out there and find out, hey, guess what? I forgot to charge my batteries and now I can't fly. So make sure your batteries are charged. Don't ever leave these charged, fully charged. Uh, charge them up maybe the, the day before you're gonna go flying. Uh, That's usually kind of, I think what I usually do is charge them up the day before when the weather looks like it's gonna be good, go fly and then leave these in storage voltage, which it's very difficult to determine that in these 1S batteries. But if you're using the, uh, the Spectrum radio here, if this is in the yellow, uh, you can pretty much say that, yeah, the battery is in the uh, storage voltage or at least close enough. So you don't want to leave, you don't want to store them when they're fully charged in the green. You don't want to store them when they're depleted in the red either. So this little LED on the uh, top here is a fantastic way to let you know on your battery status. Uh, otherwise, uh, like I said before in the other videos, this is a fantastic trainer airplane, but you do need to be conscious of the wind. If you're a new pilot just getting ready to go fly, um, you look outside and the leaves are all blowing, you should probably stay home. Don't go fly it. Um, this airplane here does very well in winds zero to five miles per hour. Eh, about five to seven miles per hour you can do it, but it starts to get a little dicey. Um, if you're more of an experienced pilot and you're okay with that, you can get it done. For me, anything over seven miles per hour, it's a little bit too extreme for this aircraft. Um, it has a problem of kind of getting back. You can easily lose the airplane at, at higher wind speeds where the wind can carry the airplane away and you don't have the horsepower to, to bring it back. So if you're a new pilot, uh, get ready to uh, watch the weather forecast a lot more than you ever did before. And you're looking for winds that are zero to five miles per hour. And when you see that, it's time to go fly this little guy. So you wanna make sure your batteries are charged up. So you wanna be thinking ahead. When the weather looks good, charge your batteries up. And I'd also recommend getting more than just one battery and one charger, actually. Um, when I used to fly this airplane quite a bit, I had um, two chargers and about five batteries, um, sometimes six. Uh, you're in that range. That way, when you go to the flying field, you can get plenty of flight time and really start to learn the aircraft, develop the muscle memory, learn how to fly, and start to really enjoy it. Um, lastly, um, this airplane uh, technically is not mine that I'm using for this video. Um, I'm doing I'm doing the video on this and I'm sure I'll get some flight time on it, but uh, this particular airplane is my nephew Logan's uh, Christmas present. So uh, Logan, um, by the time this video goes to be published, you will have already received this airplane, but congratulations on your Hobby Zone Sport Cub S2. Um, I've had a lot of fun taking care of it over the last um, month or so as it's been at my house. And I'm happy that you are uh, gonna be the new owner of this aircraft. And I think you are gonna do just fine with it. Uh, my nephew, Logan, uh, he's flown uh, Real Flight uh, 9 uh, already in the past and 9.5 as well. He's actually flown this airplane in Real Flight as well as a few other planes. And he's even flown a uh, three channel Sport Cub. So he's got a little bit of flight experience, but he's never had a plane of his own. So. Uh, congratulations, Logan. Welcome to the hobby. I hope you are going to enjoy this thing. For the rest of you guys, um, but if you guys have any questions on this, on if you're a new pilot and you want to get started in the hobby and want to know more about the aircraft, leave your comments uh, below. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get some videos of uh, this airplane as uh, once the weather warms up and uh, Logan can go out and fly it. Uh, speaking of uh, warmer weather, 
these batteries really don't do great in temperatures below about 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, if you're in a winter climate like I am, you might hold off on flying this thing until springtime. So yeah, for you, Logan, I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait till it warms up before we can go out and enjoy your new Christmas present. But uh, the batteries do not hold their charge nearly long enough in cooler temperatures. So just as a warning, um, if you are in the cold, you're going to want to adjust your flight times quite a bit uh, down lower um, or just wait to what I do what I did just wait to a nice spring day or fly it in the summer. So anyway, uh, that covers it for the Hobby Zone Sport Cub S2. Leave your comments and questions below. And um, Logan, I think I don't remember what your, your YouTube is. So you're going to have to leave a comment in the section below to let people know that you are the owner of this airplane and where they can find some of your content at. I know you got a couple different YouTube channels and I don't remember which is the one you're currently uh, using. So I hope you're gonna enjoy your airplane. Like I said before, congratulations on it and welcome to the hobby, sir.